in this year 2020 we beheld with our own eyes all the U's and the I's the unthinkable the unimaginable the unbelievable the incredible the inconceivable and the downright idiotic I can see that fear has gripped the whole world I don't make light of this fear as I know it is real and tangible yet my wife and I have not experienced any fear whatsoever throughout the plague my wife has continued to work at our local school we have respected the fear of others by adhering to the rules laid down for daily living we have witnessed the desire of the media to stir up more and more fear and the uniquely human trait of finding a suitable target and pointing the finger of blame at that target we have witnessed how many members of society have been rightly or wrongly so ready to condemn each other all generated by fear we on the other hand have enjoyed a perfect peace a peace that is not generated by a walk in the countryside or a day on a secluded beach no that peace is the limited peace that the world is able to offer Jesus said my peace I leave you my peace I give to you but not the peace that the world has to offer there is a difference and one has to experience the latter to know the difference with the former why then do we have this peace when all around us do not and indeed cannot have it it is because we feel that we are immune to any health threat that the plague may bring is it because if we are subjected to the disease we are guaranteed to recover no not at all the calf in the picture has been tagged on its ear to demonstrate to whom she belongs the registration number on her tag will take the authorities right to her legitimate owner long ago if a bond slave wanted to remain with his master because he was enjoying his life he at the appropriate time declared his desire to his master his master would take him to the nearest doorpost and drive an awl through his earlobe and he would then be secure for life the slave and his family when we come to Christ we are adopted into his family and are therefore no longer slave to the fears of this present age in life we are his in death we are his ah you will say that the church has closed its door in fear like the rest of us I will have to say yes you are absolutely uncon unquestionably correct I cannot offer you an explanation and I'm not going to try you must search for that answer for yourselves I can only share my experience the God of the Bible is not found in religious buildings but he is found in the hearts of men and women who have allowed and desired him to have access let the church establishment speak for itself but as for me I will continue to enjoy the peace that inner peace that transcends description and belies understanding a peace that can only be experienced to be believed that peace is found nowhere else but in the supernatural power of the God of all creation mm -hmm.